on the top, but if Shadow Cat pulls out the Weavile and beats him in a ditto, <laughs> so Eclipse's technical motto of Weavile being good is, I guess, proven. True. But it wasn't him uh, proving it. <laughs> see, here's so it looks the like we have the breaks and pick here. All right, so we're not going to be sticking to the Dark Rider. We're going to get the breaks and switch here. Well, I wonder if you run Miss Magius Nine Tails, should I go for Step Plague, or if you try to take the Dull Rider and run Eevee and just try to match with Attack Buff? I kind of expected the Miss Magius Nine Tails because I believe that's what he ran last time. Oh no, he's for Togekiss pick. From breaks, it looks like it maybe wants to match speed. Speed, yeah, because uh, we, as we all know, Eclipse absolutely loves his Togekiss Weavile for this incredible movement right here. It's so offensive, it's so aggressive, it's so difficult to deal with. You know, this is actually interesting. I remember Shao Kai likes to run Tokus a lot, so I'm pretty excited for the Tokus. I think fast breaks is pretty terrifying. Especially when you get speed up attack buff from Sunny Day with the enhance. It can be a lot to deal with, especially for Weavile, too. I mean, Eclipse pressing buttons there after getting clipped by the two while his shield went up and it went right back down as uh, Shadowcat was able to nice. hit him with the 8x confirmed. Shadowcat looking real strong right here so far. Yeah, the golf swing was so good because it's safe and you can try to catch out any type of mine on wake up. But it looks like Shadowcat's just kind of putting on the pressure. This isn't the first uh, breaks in that Eclipse had to play today, however. He did actually have to end up playing uh, Foxtrot in winners in his pool and actually dropped the game. So it looks like this this matchup is still something that Eclipse seems to struggle just a bit with. He yeah, doesn't so, go for the crash down, but instead opts to throw the ice pool away and nosedive. I do feel like a part of it is the character itself for Eclipse, on top of Shaka also being really good as a player. Yeah. So this will be a hard fought win if he can pull it out. But Shaka is not making it easy, even when Shaka's behind, he still makes it hard to just get in and find that hit. Uh, 16 seconds left on the clock here, Eclipse now does no longer have to do uh, no. no, big press a button. We got some chip damage. Eclipse has the advantage yet yeah, again. Got caught by a light screen there. Chip yes. damage. Eight seconds. Well, no longer has the advantage. Ooh, tries to oh. crash down. Doesn't get it. Tries to go for a grab. Doesn't get it. Oh no! The knock off. He gets light screen oh. and punished for it. That's going to be it for Shadow Cat. Eclipse again getting impatient, just as we saw in the mutator yeah. set, pressing those buttons, trying to secure this win. I mean, the Kindo, which is kind of surprising because like, we know he can beat Shao Kai. He's done it before. So I'm like, right. I'm kind of surprised he's getting that impatient against Shao Kai. Like, Mutator can understand. Like, he didn't beat Mutator before. Mutator's kind of like the number one for North America right now. Yeah, that he, isn't he's, he's the big guy to yeah. take down right now. So getting that impatient feeling, getting like you're getting so close to his nerves might get to you. But here, this is a matchup he's played before. It isn't necessarily impossible for him. Yeah. So that impatience, I guess, was just oh, the clock. No. no! That was such an awful autocorrect. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs the wrong way and he gets crit JX'd. It. That's so bad for Eclipse because he could have evened out the health totals and made it so he could play his game. Breaks but now he has to approach again. Yeah, yeah. and now they both have focus popped actually. If it breaks this faster, oh, there's going to be the light screen shield break into the burst attack confirm. Eclipse is so good for Shadow Tech because now Eclipse doesn't have burst. He has to approach. Breaks still has burst for like half the meter, <laughs> and he's almost at full health. Right. This, Eclipse this is looking really good for Shadow Tech right now. Eclipse is. After a huge hill to climb here. Again, he's got to kiss up. So now Eclipse's speed isn't all that necessarily unique. Oh, Get caught no. by a crit counter. 17 health left on Eclipse right here. What's the mix-up? Okay. Oh, oh wow. Crazy so movement. Scared. He catches it with the Jax on the way down. The mix-up to be an 8-Y. Shadow Cat wasn't blocking. There's going to be a knockoff. He needs There's a CNAC grab, but oh. no, it's going to be 2-Y crush. And that's going to be it for Eclipse. That first game going to Shadow Cat. I think there's some life, though. Because like, you saw like he's starting to win the mix-up. So, like, you sure he lost, but, like... But he's he could like, for a really risky grab, yeah. and it's going to get teched. Yeah, the thing it's is, like, but he's got such little health that even if he's on the offensive, one wrong mix-up, you still lose. And it's like, he's, if I can even get the mix-ups to begin with, just shows, like, okay, I can still play in this. It could be a little right. bit of mental, like, recovery. Like, okay, right. I can still guess right, quote-unquote, guess right. <laughs> quote, unquote, quote, unquote, right. It's conditioning, my friends. It's not just guessing. It's educated guessing. Conditioning. <laughs> That's what I said. All right. So here we are. Going back into field phase. Getting caught by Boomerang. Two eyes. So we block it. Ooh. Taunt. So you get fully charged. Uh, crit there. Unfortunately, crit. just Counter. another bun. Like, I like they actually waited to shield. But unfortunately, like, you know, it's the hard part. It's like, when do you get to recover now? When do I wait? When do I dunk? Because part of it is the over-aggression. But the other part now is, like, he's trying to press buttons again. And it's yeah. kind of just, like, letting Chow can just run for this for so for free right now. Like, I'm sorry, like, I should say it's free, because it's not commentary friendly, but it's looking pretty, uh... Ooh, that that's gonna be a free, perfect yeah. for Shadow Cat right there. That was looking really, really, really strong. Eclipse is crumbling he right got now. He's got nothing. He doesn't even get his support. He at least has burst right away. He has, he has meter, but I don't know if he's feeling popping meter right away. Oh, well, he's gonna get crit grabbed. That's gonna be it. I feel like... I just, like... I'm not sure what Eclipse can do to kind of like crap. fix his issue because I feel like his entire game plan just kind of crumbled and now scrambling to like, okay, what do I do now? My entire game plan just isn't working. Yeah. 
right, he's oh. going to finally use meter here. He's going to get a right, there we go. on the count, finally. Got some damage on the board. Caught sure. him with a 6Y, and then the 5Y. You know, some adaption is exactly what Eclipse needs right now. Like, okay. Oh, Tries to go gosh. for a grab on the reset, but the Shadow Kid's not going to deal with that. He's going to pop first. Jumps over. Oh, Ooh, that's going to go. catch. That's going to be a nice critical hit anti air burst attack. Just a flip for Eclipse. He's going to take some meter off. And he gets some good damage off. Exactly, but the Dr. Order, because Eclipse needed to find something to work. He, if he had gone down this game after how dominant that round was, I feel like it would have been like a hard hill to climb. Ooh, but if you can even out 1-1 one, one right here, it's so much more doable. So yeah, this round is looking really good in his favor. Nice, he's, he's catching the read there and caught the with 8-Y. There's a 6-Y. He's going to JX. So JX again, again. he's going to be countered. C-A-D-C grab, and this round is going to go to Eclipse. That was a so really good. strong recovery after that round where he literally got perfected. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not, it's never out. He's never out of the game. It's not over until it's over. Especially, like, the round started so poorly for Eclipse, and eventually he's just, like, something ticked. He finally figured out the combination, and he just kind of broke in. And now it's up to him to keep it going. Don't let Shadow Cat recover. Ooh, he's popping burst. He's putting the pressure on him. And oh, right now he's going to get caught. He's going to click by a 5 way, but no confirmed there. Let me get the grab. Right, grab mix ups. Weavile's got crazy corner pressure. Yeah, that's kind of like why people run Eevee or Miss Magus to get that attack buff, because you can't do much about that as like non burst breaks and like you don't have enhanced right. anything. You kind of just have to take it. But even then, it's like half health is still doable. Ooh, okay, he's going to burst off the homie one. Like, Shadow Cat's still walking. Jughead's got faster movement, uh, at least in terms of walk speed and dual phase when he's got Tokus on deck. But here's Tokus from both players. That's such uh, a terrifying landing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Jughead trying to find his way in, but man, he is just the not. Eclipse is easy. weaving, and there it is weaving with Weeba. Right. <laughs> and we got the homing attack in. Nice taunt. Yeah, he's all the way to a perfect himself. Yeah, no, taking no damage, just, yeah, he might be shooting, but there is the chip damage, and unfortunately, unrecoverable health, so maybe not perfect, but this round is definitely doable. Ooh, punishes the top with the two side beams there. Eclipse needs to be really careful still, like, you don't want to take too much ship, sure, it's 20 seconds, Ooh, but you don't want to get hit. Wow, I can't believe that hit. That was some sus hitboxes right there. <laughs> Ooh, there's a JX on his own, and there's only 14 seconds left on the clock. He has the health lead right now. He's really close to meter. Tokus is oh! There's a 6 wide. Yeah, there's a meter. There. That's so good. This would be really hard for Shadow Cat here. There's seven seconds left on the clock. Shadow Cat needs oh, to make a big gap. Oh, jumping JA, but he gets JX for his troubles. Yeah, and he didn't have much of a choice Tokus. to... Yeah, Shadow Cat's just going to wait this one out and let that game go to Eclipse. Now, here we are, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, and he needed to get that broomstick, too, because grab wasn't going to be enough if Eclipse had landed. He needed to get the hit into reset to have a chance of taking that round. But as soon as the clip got burst, like, the thing became, like, a 9 to 1 odds. Oh, man. I'm glad to see it close it out, because one of his issues he had last time that I brought up when I was commenting this set was that he would get these big leads, but then he would could never close out, kind of like what we saw earlier today. Right. So like I'm kind of I'm like glad to see like he got the lead he actually closed it out this time right yeah he 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 decided to commit more to the timeout yeah uh, and just let it roll from there which is great because that means he did study those sets he did try to find improvement where he could and now he's gone one one like there's fake out wow it was incredible speed with Tony because he's just able to move a little bit to the left and then grab oh Ooh, no to dash grab again but he's gonna get eight x crit for it Took yep. a lot of damage there. J-Way on shield. Ooh, taunt to Night Slash. He's gonna CA after, but Shadow Cat is out of there. And J-A away. J -A jumps back on the Night Slash. Some crazy good movement for both players just trying to move around each other. Nice, that's a risky grab after 6 way because Eclipse tends to push a button there. Yeah. Uh, so that, that, was, that was a risky grab. Uh, that, but it worked out in Shadow Cat's favor. And we're going yeah. back to Field Phaser. And Shadow Cat grab. making the adaption himself. He's playing so much more, like, over the place. Comp Trying to like match Eclipse in a way, and the Eclipse is unfortunately like, was not Eclipse ready for the quick adaption. taking a ton of damage right now. There's oh a six no! Six Y is gonna get crit yeah, with the counter and get eight X. Almost another perfect. We have so many like these rounds that look so oh, close, and then you realize one person just was not it, getting it, hit yeah, the entire time. It, it's just like it, it, it feels tight, but it really is just super one side. But it goes back and forth in rounds, so the set as a whole still's got this yeah. high level anxiety and. And hype to it. Ooh, punishes that back. This is the most one-sided close set I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Ooh, got him with that CA there. Ooh, he tries to see I'm blocked again. Dashes up. Ooh, high stance for whatever reason. Get caught by light screen. I, think... an 8X. I forget Ooh, what we call high stance even does. I never see it, so I don't like think about it at all. Yeah, honestly, same here. It autocorrected with the. Uh, oh, okay. Punish the or rather pure speed. Light screen. Oh no. Oh, the six is gonna do it. He's got your reset. You have to be careful. Okay. There's light screen. J.A. Oh, oh, wow. Right out of that flamethrower. Could even range. melt the ice with that flamethrower. Like, damn. All right, but this is good for Eclipse because he burned Eclipse's out so much Eclipse's shield is running pretty low, though. He's going to want to get out of this uh, defensive situation. Ooh, okay. Ooh there we go. On the 
counter. He definitely needed that too. That off. If he had blocked, his shield would just broke. And it would have felt really bad. Yes, absolutely. He needs meter. Meter is integral to Eclipse's game plan. That's how he pushes advantage, applies the pressure. Oh, oh wait, no. I can get that second hand JX countered. Yeah, Doesn't like, go for the uh, Icicle cancel. And Tokus is about to be up for this breaks in too, so he can potentially play the runaway game of Shadow Cat. Yeah, breaks in. However, does still have the health lead. So, oh, that light screen is just only going to enhance that more. Ten seconds left on the clock. Shadow Cat's oh not trying to time an Eclipse. Oh, Eclipse trying to six. So he's gonna get side before Zephyrus. Oh, There's going no. to be a knock off. He's going to get a punish with a crit. Yeah, he's gonna kill the timer. This is gonna be it. Yeah, is that what's gonna really do here? Too. That'll be it. Yep. Then once the is like that, Tokus came up. Shadow Cat just need to run away. Yeah. No need to approach. I'm already winning. Don't need to go in. And that was like unfortunate for Eclipse. Like the one situation he didn't need to happen because his Tokus was already spent. He already spent synergy. He's not even close to like building it back up. Sure, he got the taunts, but the taunts are also throwing him backwards. So he still have to reapproach. Right. If you're approaching with like a yeah. cancel or just with night slash, and both are risky in yeah. their own right. And uh, the health was looking about even, but that one miss hit by yeah. the light screen just made that whole thing go tumbling down. Now it's Shadow Cat's favor 2 1 here. I just like this is an interesting point about Taunt. Like, it's so good, but that one scenario is actually kind of detrimental to go back and then forward because you kill Timer off already a small time limit. Right. And that was really smart play there by Eclipse, moving around the boomerang. Incredible maneuverability there, just walking in and out. Nice grab on the fully charged counter right at the end. Now this is looking to be a lot more in Eclipse's favor. There is a light screen, didn't hit though. Both of these players are just adapting to each other so Ooh. fast. That's making these games like look one side when they're actually just like not. It's so crazy to look at because again, Shotcat's already kind of like figured out the adaptation now too. Starting to get that damage back. Oh, jumps around the light screen. Almost gets the JX on block, but doesn't get fully charged. CA dashes back. Gets caught by the 8X into the JA. Good pop burst in corner. Oh. I'm actually surprised he forced out a burst so quickly from against Shadow Cat. Like, I didn't expect him to do it, and he got caught jumping. Or, like, nice. not jumping, or, like, the whip punch. Yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting what that move was called. I should call it short hop. It's an 8X. 8X, there yeah. we go. We bow's 8X. Yep, it's a scrap crush. Ooh, again, very fast. Charged oh, nice. all the way, but Shadow Cat's like, no, I'm just gonna back it. Dude, he was on the liver of that ice hitbox, too. Yeah. Like. Oh, okay. All right. Again, health advantage in Eclipse's favor. 14 seconds left on the clock. We're seeing a lot of timeouts here. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting down to the wire over and over. This is going to be a nice ice punch. Both well, these characters are just so good at timing each other out, too. Breaking can just projectile all the way. Eclipse Ooh. can just icicle, taunt, and dash back. Oh, there's the fake out. There it is. That face shift is going to allow the timer to run out just a tad bit more. And that will be Eclipse's round. Isn't it over just yet? Even though Shadow Cat's only two rounds away from moving on to Grand Finals, Eclipse is definitely not out of it just yet. Mm -hmm. Eclipse only needs three more now. And here we go. Back into the next round. Eclipse is playing a lot more like... Ooh. Well, before he did that, he, I was going to say he's going to play a lot more like smarter aggression. Like he wasn't really over committing as much. Like right, but sometimes uh, Shadow, Shadow Cat's been good about getting those Toei Kiss walk-up grabs mm -hmm. on Eclipse. Eclipse is getting really scared by the, the, the Toei Kiss walk-up breaks in. Yeah. Yeah, it's scary. Brixton is a scary character. I mean, they're both kind of scary. So like, they're approaching. Like, they're both playing smart. I think the nerves have shaken off of Eclipse now. I feel like Eclipse is like really playing like he should be playing. Instead, of, like the first game where he's kind of just like throwing out stuff and kind of like, I don't know what I'm fully doing. Ooh, kind of want that CA into knockoff. Getting down that meter. Is we go for the fully charged CA. No burst on wake up from uh, Shadow Cat there. He's just gonna get his side beat. For now, Shadow Cat just gonna try and play back, get some shit. Oh, it's finding some straight hits, which is perfect for Shadow Cat. Yeah, if they're playing a timeout game, then Shadow Cat's got the advantage currently. Ooh, is it too extended? Oh. Kiss pop. Now he's fast. He got some health back. There's gonna be a walk up grab. Eclipse is looking a little rough here. I expect that. He, he thought Shadow Cat probably was gonna go backwards first and wasn't ready to react. But man, this is so hard now for Eclipse. Because you have to deal with the super fast breaks in. But there we go, that's how you yeah, get it yeah, back. Yeah, he let go. Yeah, there he, now he gets a ton of meters. Oh. Almost got burst. He's got the 8Y. Oh, oh no. Drops the confirm. Okay, crushes down for some chip damage. 8Y is the 8X. Now he's got the health that advantage. Four seconds around. left on the clock. He has meter. He's going to have to use meter soon. Okay. Yep. That's right. Yeah, there's a print block. Oh, JA! Oh. oh, and Eclipse still has the health advantage even after. Um, Shadowcat was able to clip him with the JA, and Eclipse is gonna take this game, and now we're going to game five here, 2-2, two, two against Shadowcat. That was crazy, because, like, there was the drop six while you're like, okay, this is probably it. Yeah. And then there was, like, the other, like, almost, I got snagged on the approach, and you're like, oh, that's probably it. But then, no, Eclipse, like, <laughs> pulled so that out of the grave. Yeah, he still has a 2% health lead there. Yeah, it's 2. Ooh. Oh. Gotcha.
there, but man, there's, I wonder what Shadowcat's thinking right now. I feel, yeah. I feel like Breakson could still find. I don't know if he risked Darkrai at this point. Yeah, this is game five, so there's not a whole lot of room for adaptation here. You've got around. If you lop, drop around, that's it. You're on the end of the wire, my friend. Turned it. Thanks for I ask him how to play Septile in this matchup real quick. <laughs> I mean, maybe we'll see. I don't know. I, I'm feeling like we're gonna see a break, since, especially considering how even this is. But it's not out of the realm of possibility to see a character switch from Shadow Cat either, so we're real close. We're I kind of want to say sticking with Breaks. I feel like one this type of like long way is usually just to uh, recover mentally. Right, yeah. there it is, we got the Breaks. Yeah, that'll, that'll be a really risky switch, especially going into game five on this set. Like, yeah. if you're going to make a switch, game two And those are the kind the of time. switches are like, that yeah. people look back, back and you're just like, you kind of like live with that kind of like mistake. Like, yeah, like if you switch and you lose, you like blame it on the switches while you're like, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't not that, switch there. And then people see it too and be like, dude, why'd you even switch? Why'd you switch, yeah, like that was, that was not the play and whatnot. Yeah. So smart of Shadow Cat here to stick with Breaks. He was able to take two games off Eclipse. All he needs is one more, but uh, Eclipse is not <laughs> far behind at all. They're dead even right now. Eclipse definitely has the momentum after winning that last game. Like he kind of has like that confidence now. It's like, okay, I can take it. Whereas Shadow Cat lost his advantage now on both games that he was up. He kind of like forced out the third. But the good part is like, it's always kind of been like Shadow Cat takes one round, then Eclipse. So maybe he can try to sneak it out another one. I mean, oh boy. It's so tough right now. Oh no, that's not what you want to see though if you're oh. Eclipse, because you're gonna need a flamethrower. Oh wow, I didn't think that would combo, but that was so much damage. And now it's the rough part for Eclipse, because he has to play. Not like that. <laughs> he's almost got meter, but oh, oh no, no, he's been pushed more and more into disadvantage. This is looking like Shadow Cat. He's uh, Shadow Cat's got. Uh, Toby Kiss just popped right here. Oh, oh no. the one time Eclipse is like, oh, he's gonna walk on grab again. He tries to tech and he gets caught. Oh, and he got the, the CA. AX. The one CA. He tries to annex on the CA and he's gonna get punished there. Shadow Cat is one round away from moving up to grand finals. That to was fight mutator. Oh, so boy. smart from Shadow Cat to be like, okay, I've done this so many times. He's gonna react. Yeah, he's going to react the same way every time, and I'm going to mix it up. The <laughs> one time, there it is, the walk up grab from Toby Kiss yet again. Oh no. So oppressive. Eclipse is struggling here. Gets a knockoff, taking away that meter. CNC grab, okay. All right, Eclipse is putting himself back on the map here. He's got full meter. We got pressure in field face. Shadow Cat wasn't blocking, still doesn't have meter just yet. Quite close, however, and oh. there it is. And that's what, exactly what you need after your Eclipse. You need to stop that momentum, especially after that round one. It is hard to stop someone once they get going. To be able to stop it now is exactly what he needs, just to like, recompose. So we got Tokus Pop from both <laughs> players here. Now we got Fast Boys. And the faster footsies. Oh no. Turbo footsies. Oh, 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 moving it, moving it. Yeah, uh, Shadow Cat's got oh. the faster walk speed. Oh, he's gonna go charge the 6x, but he's gonna get interrupted by a light screen into 8x cancels. This is looking really rough for Eclipse, but still doable. There's gonna be a, a purse pop here. Uh, not gonna be a perfect block. Okay, we're getting home in one. We're gonna crash down for that chip damage. He's gonna walk up. Oh, wow. Ooh, Shadow Cat, CDC's backwards. He gets killed, clipped by the other hits of homing attack. Gets 6 he's wide. not bursting. It's oh, math man. 8 wide. He drops his pressure chain and instead goes for a grab. Shadow Cat's got full meter on deck, not bursting, probably opting to save it for the potential round three. 15 seconds left on the clock, one health left on Shadow Cat after that chip damage from burst attack. This is looking really rough. He's gonna get ice balled, and now we're going to game five, round three, losers finals, Eye of the Storm two. This is it, ladies and hey, gentlemen. This one, the round you bet all, like you saved burst, you have to make it work. Oh. You can't go back, lose the round, be like, right. maybe I should have bursted. No, you need to make it work now or this never. Is it. Yeah, and Eclipse has to work his way up from uh, Burst right now. He's got the meter disadvantage, so he's definitely looking to win field if he can. Toby Kiss running out. He got out. nothing off Whimsical, too, so like he has to wait his full time for support. So this is a hard one to come for Eclipse. Ooh, boomerang into like a boomerang. Yeah, and he did not win that first field phase. It's going to be extremely rough now. Yeah, because now he has to play from behind. Jump. Now he has to play against the Burst here really early. Oh, Dropping no! Advantage. He dropped block to the JA into the flamethrower. That's exactly what you don't want to see as Eclipse, because oh, he can't have that happen, he not now. He Night Slash on the J, he doesn't get a taunt, Night Slash, holding that Night Slash, cancels oh. into the CA, gets the CA, into the knockoff, bring it down, what is the mix-up going to be on Burst Exhaust? Nothing, just going to hold block on Shadow Cat's shoes, going to nosedive after throwing the Ice Little Crash down, he's got Tokus up, coming up really soon, jumps over the 2x, really smart there, CA, all of that, CDC oh, no. grab, okay, we're burst. going into Field Face, now he has Meter and Toga Kiss. Shadow Cat's, uh, Shadow Cat's also have Tokus, however, so it's not totally out of it just yet, but has no meter. There's going to be a Tokus pop from both players yet again. There's Boomerang. What's it going to be after? They're moving. They're moving. Turbo footsies. 18 seconds left on the clock. 
Technically, Eclipse does have oh, the health no. disadvantage, but now it is the health advantage, and he has burst. This is looking really rough for Shadow Cat right now. There's this all the Eclipse's court. This is Eclipse's game to lose now. Like, oh, this is we got Eclipse on the side. Oh, no. He's got knocked out. What's it going to be? He aims oh. it, jumps over the 2x, walks burst. up, bursts, gets some chip damage. Oh, I don't know he has no. the health advantage. Four seconds left on the clock. He's jumping. Oh, oh no. He held That's the it. icicle. He held the icicle. He held it and he threw it down. He's going to take that. Eclipse takes it over Shadow Cat. 3 2. Moving up to Grand Finals to rematch can, against Mutator. You can hear him popping off. Like, he well deserved oh. to win. Like, that was not looking good for Eclipse for so long to just hold Ooh. on wow. and not give up. That weight on Icicle was probably the most life saving play because Shadow Cat's 